And just like that. Wow. <laughs> Here at the Adobe Max Sneaks presentations where engineers show potential features they're working on as side projects, and then Adobe might potentially release them as proper features down the road based on reactions to them online. And in this presentation, imagine you can use your generative AI remove tool for photos, but on videos in the same amount of time. That's what Project Frame Forward is. You can remove something using that generative AI remove tool in the first frame of the video, then push one button and it'll remove the same object from the rest of the scene. That girl's gonna be mad as hell. She got cut from that. Now, the way it works is pretty simple in theory, at least. You generally remove something in the first frame or image of the video and just keep removing it in all these subsequent frames or images. Just do it for at least 24 images a second is all. Again, simple in theory. Now, the other thing this tool can do is not just remove the object, but it's aware enough, like the trace erase tool that I made a video on before, to identify what else might have come from the thing that you selected. So in this case, the car drifting on a track is not only deleted, but so is all of the tire smoke you know, a painfully hard thing to edit out of an image, let alone a video. And while the subject and camera are also both moving quickly. As if that wasn't enough, you can also do the same to add things with generative fill into your video as well. And it even understands what you added and the scene as well. So this cat now has a reflection in the puddle. Wow. <laughs> Give me this now. 